Chris there from Corvallis. We'll have a little chat with you. You got to be pretty happy overall uh, with the way your team played. You took it to them pretty early and uh, left no doubt about it. Yeah, we kind of uh, putzed our way to the finish line, but uh, uh, I was really proud of the first two and a half quarters, especially. I, that, that first half, we, uh, we came out defensively, offensively on the boards. Uh, we did um, a lot of really, really good things. And it helps when we, uh, we make 50% uh, of our three shots. I thought that really set the tone early. And um, uh, this was a good victory. The, the, the Beavers don't lose like this very often uh, here at home. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Kelly, I thought just an outstanding game. I, I really was impressed with the defensive performance. I think your bigs, you know, you asked them to, to defend the three-point line and to be stronger and a little bit more stiffer in, in the paint. And I think they took Taylor Jones right out of her game. And you really, really, really kept them from getting any kind of momentum on the three-point line. Not an easy thing to do. Yeah, well, I thought the two inside kids actually had the, the best games among most of their players. But uh, what we really wanted to do was take away the three game. And they just made three tonight. And when you can uh, hold these guys for three, you're doing your job. We just played them uh, straight up uh, on the interior. We didn't help. We didn't double down. We just made them make twos over extended arms. Uh, and, um, you know, and, and you take away kind of two mistakes that we made, mental mental errors and Goodman got free on both of them for three point shots in the first half. Uh, but we rectified that. So yeah, I, Bev, you're, you're exactly right. I thought defensively we were really on point tonight. Our kids did a heck of a job. Speaking of the three ball uh, coach, that first quarter, Taylor Mike's still on fire four three pointers. And uh, I'll tell you what, during the game, I got a couple texts from some friends about Tahina Pow Pow. They're like, Holy cow, that kid is good. Both those players had great games. <laughs> Uh, they did. Yeah, they did. I thought Tahina really controlled certainly that first half um, from the point. Just did such a tremendous job. And the nice thing is we, we have a good bench that can come in and give her uh, some, some rest. You know, we don't drop off a lot. But, boy, she was on tonight. Her and Mike Sell had great synergy. They both shot it well. And, uh, and that's how we separated. And then just kind of, like I said, yeah, I wish we would have finished a little bit better. That's uh, an area we've got to get better. You know, the real great teams take a 20-point lead and then move it to 30 and then hopefully move it even more. But uh, we didn't. We just played them even in that second half. All right, Coach, that's uh, all I got for you here. We'll uh, let, you, let you go talk to the rest of the media. Congratulations. Way hey. to beat the Beefs. All right, thank you. All right. All right, Coach, we're going to begin with uh, Eric Scopel, 247 Sports. Coach, you have to be really pleased with the way that first half in particular went, the way you built that lead. Did it feel like there was maybe a turning point offensively in particular? It seemed like when, when Taylor got going and Dehena hit a couple tough jumpers. Yeah, I thought that the, you know, the three ball really kind of set everything up for that half. You know, came down and, and they were scoring, you know, as, uh, as well. And, but just twos, you know, and threes are going to beat twos. And I, I just thought that was great. And when they tried to go, man, I thought our kids executed – uh, they went a little bit small, and we jammed it in on two straight occasions and got um, baskets around the rim. I think we showed a little bit of our versatility. We were able to do a little bit inside when we wanted to and then obviously shot it well. I have kept saying this one of the best shooting, if not the best shooting team I've ever had. We had showed it, but we showed it, I think, tonight. We saw a little bit of why I'm so excited about that. And Bully didn't even have, an, you know, one of her normal nights. Uh, Howard McDowell, 538. Kelly, good to chat with you as always. Thank you, you know, talk about the type of shooting team you've got, but you have four players coming into tonight in double figures, and Tahina, who's your leading scorer tonight, wasn't even one of them. I'm wondering whether this is the deepest offensive team you have ever had and what the practical effects on that are as you figure out how you're going to deploy everybody. Well, sure, luxury, you know, and we have a lot of different uh, ways we can get different people shots when they're uh, feeling it, when they're having those kind of nights, you know, both inside and outside. So, yeah, I just think we have a pretty well-rounded team all together. And, you know, inside people in the ARA didn't practice much this week uh, under the weather. And, uh, you know, in Sedona, had yet to go through a practice. And I thought they both did a really nice job tonight. I honestly drive up here I didn't know if we were going to get either or both of them so, or just one of them and so I was really proud of their effort and 
get fully healthy, you know, again, that add, add that to the arsenal. We didn't do a lot inside tonight. James Kreppi of the Oregonian. Kelly, it certainly seemed like your most all-around performance, uh, not just shooting, not just rebounding, not, you know, literally everything about it, um, even just the pace of play and, and ball movement. Uh, did you think this was the best this team has looked this season and something that, that fans should be looking forward to for the rest of the way, that this is really the identity of this team? <laughs> I sure hope so, James. You know, in sports, it's day-to-day, -day, man. Uh, but I thought that first half, we were really good. And even in, uh, you know, a good portion of that third quarter, really good. I mean, 25 assists, seven turnovers. And now I know Oregon State, they don't run uh, the kind of defense that turns you over a lot, but still seven. Uh, I thought that was uh, fantastic. We don't see very many zones. And, um, we, and we were expecting a lot of zone tonight. We saw it. I thought we did a much better job against their zone than we did against their man. So, um, yeah, just a, yeah, I, a really good, well-round, all-around effort. So I'm, I'm proud of them, James. Proud of them. Oh, so I got time for just one more. Go with Ryan Thorburn, Register Guard. Kelly, along, along those lines, obviously, Pow Pow and Mike Sell had the points, but Chavez had six assists, played some good defense, and that looked like Jazz was finally comfortable again. Can you kind of speak to the depth of your backboard yeah. there tonight? Yeah, we relied on our returners. You know, they played a good fit. Uh, Taylor Chavez is a great fit, I think, for that starting unit because she can be a defensive stopper, and you probably saw a few times once Goodman gave it up, we had her deny it back, and they struggle with anybody else sometimes running that point guard spot. So I thought that that, that hurt them a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, I thought Taylor and Jazz gave us a huge lift, and if you can have that from – you know, from them each and every night. That's what we need from them. You know, they're our veterans. They're our returners. They're the ones that have to set the tone. So, listen, you guys, I, I'm really pleased. My first couple years here, we had some ugly, ugly outcomes up here. And um, and this was uh, this was sweet. It truly was. I think my staff, my staff did an awesome job, you guys, in preparing. Mark Campbell, you know, this was his scout. He nailed it. I thought he did an awesome job. And plus, he spent some time talking to the team about this rivalry. You know, he threw it from both sides. And I, and I thought we were ready mentally uh, as well as we were physically. Thanks for your time, Coach. Okay, you guys. Safe travels back. Yeah, blessings.